Alrighty boys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back playing some more CK3. Actually, my first time ever going to be playing as a Wanderer while recording, of course. I had played on my own, started my own guy, literally started from the beginning. It's very hard though, it takes a lot of time. So this time I'm actually be playing as one of the start dates. It was honestly a toss up between these two guys, but I am going to choose Rodrigo Diaz, otherwise known as El Cid. He also has special story content, so I'm going to be trying to do that, of course. There's two achievements with him that I'm going to go for, so let's just start it up. Iron Man as always. Here we are, Iron Man. All right, here here we are we're in iberia so we get the iberian struggle if you want to read it there it is and we actually start off in castile let me look at the achievements real quick for you guys as well here's one mio sid complete elsa unique content with an honorable man ending so i actually have to be honorable okay then his legacy of the campadors create and rule valencia as an heir to el cid so i can easily do that we also have some unique units master rodrigo's host we get caballeros which is very good we only have 85 gold though the thing is i actually want to be a good guy so a passage of arms might be worth protect the innocent might be worth i don't want to gain any of the hallows bait trait oh look at that special unique trait the campador rodrigo's expertise on a battlefield has earned him the title of battlefield champion super cool is that a unique one or can other people get that you guys definitely got to let me know and before i start i did get this idea from another channel i think it was uh a bavarian guy i forgot his name yeah i forgot his name but i i think it was him yeah i'm gonna gather provisions right away i recommend you guys always do this there we go free 550 we're pretty much almost at our max i am gonna get some pikemen or should i just go all the way out with caballeros I'm gonna do pikemen they're a little cheaper why not we're obviously to keep going down the martial lifestyle i didn't never pointed this out but man unique lifestyles if you're a wanderer super awesome and i love how they went back and changed everything to like right here loot and plunder that's super cool so we're going down the marshal another thing we're gonna do is visit the castle holding and we're gonna go straight to the tavern what you want to do is you wouldn't mind hearing a story or two then you do this one up here you can gain one diplomacy or just some lifestyle there we go see we gained exotic diplomacy there it is so let's see who's up for recruitment we really do want some good knights that guy's pretty bad this guy minendo he's not so bad 102 though let's just take him we really do need people i can use this decision and this guy will become my patron i believe it said the mayor he's my role of patrons you do want patrons they help you out a lot so we just got him and now we are done here and let's actually look for some contracts yeah i don't want any criminal contracts hireling i'll do some justice sires or whatever that shit's called now let's head back let's scrape the barrel you always want to use uh i mean not scrape the barrel you want to refill men at arms but never use gold always use your provisions we have a bunch of contracts i'm gonna skip a lot of this because it's obviously just building up your campsite and uh, your men at arms and then we're gonna go right for valencia let's do a passage of arms it's only 54 gold that's not worth it rescue a fair subject that just gives us food prestige piety not worth it yeah man these are all pretty bad protect the innocent yeah i think protecting the innocent is actually most worthwhile oh yeah we also have a courtier and friend we also have a nephew nice super cool and an uncle and another best friend what the fuck we have king sancho as a friend we have a lot of friends let's make martin our uh, caravan master though then let's just start it up wait what the hell is this special unique event by order of the king if you guys want to read that there it is wow i'm gonna say i will always be loyal to you my king this guy's trying to duel me now there we go we beat him and he joined us very good we want to get as many knights as possible it's a big thing as being a wanderer there we go we must ensure their safety i've done this i showed you these guys before pretty much you just want to fill out these things prowess prowess i recommend you always do intrigue and diplomacy first so she's shit at that he's shit at that he's shit at that we might have no intrigue or diplomacy guys yeah this is super bad this guy might be the best yeah martin you'll be him thug prowess and intrigue once again we have like no one for that i mean i guess she's the best our mother yeah i'm just gonna fill out the rest of these guys i'll skip past it 48 percent. that's not good at all but let's honestly see if we can make some money yeah and this is pretty much all it is being a wanderer is just waiting for your missions to complete i have to wait for enough breaches before i can do it another special thing exile closed doors dark is the night if you guys want to read it there it is we won't press these poor people yeah i'm trying to show my loyalty to the king this is i love how they added special little cool like realistic events a little storyline is badass i can't believe they added that to ck3 honestly all right we're already at five we could wait for 10 to ensure the chances so i think i might do that just wait for 10 well i actually have different houses of my branch there's this guy who he's about to die out yeah cool i did not know we had different houses and we also have Oviedo, which i believe they actually own places yeah they own this place up here nice realistically i can press my claim yeah oh wow exile no gold or silver another event if you guys want to read it yeah i cannot risk the king's wrath well a bunch of people are about to leave me all my friends are gonna leave me yeah i cannot risk the king's wrath wow man honestly trying to play loyal to this guy sucks i think i'm gonna execute this scheme now before they all leave oh we actually won that's super nice okay yeah so we just lost a bunch of our knights that is no good we could get this knight for free let's do it i'm gonna try and fight it and see if this guy joins us oh uh, wow we stand as one there's a 36 percent chance that i'm slain in battle i just can't do it these guys are trying to hire us as mercenaries let's accept honestly man we kind of need the money i'm gonna demand payment from this guy and while we're in this war i guess we could do 
do another contract as well. Let's just start collecting some taxes. And I could raise up my men to try to help. But honestly... All right, we're going to win anyway. We honestly do not need to help. We're looking through this guy's financial records to try to give him shit. There we go. This one was a little bit harder, honestly. We shall pay in full. We got to make this guy pay in full. There we go. A lot of people lost opinion of us. But honestly, I do not care. We're making money out here. Honestly, I do kind of want to raise up my men and help. Just maybe we can get some a little bit more money or something. We got the traveler trait through a monk. Very good. We got our next martial trait. Let's get... Let's get chivalry dominance, like I said. We need our knights to be good, man. I'm staying close with the army, but they're not really hacking into anyone. They're just running around. Like, what the hell is going on? You know, we have to attack this guy, boys. Oh, another special event. Exile. God have mercy. If you guys want to read it, there it is. Please, God, guide him back to the light. Help me attack into here, boys. Come on. Don't let me down now. You're actually letting me down, guys. There we go. They actually helped. They let us all die first. There we go. We helped out a lot with that one. Let's just siege now. Actually, they're not really helping us siege. All right. Holy shit. Restoration and honorable man. It's about to give us land, I think. What the fuck? Anyway, we slaughtered those guys. Another special event. If you guys want to read it. Friend, he cries out. You have always remained loyal to me. Wow. What is it? I become a vassal. I get tons of counties. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I become... I get the trait loyal veteran adventurer. Yeah, I, I think because we're trying to stick like, you know, get the achievement. I think I have to do this. It's all worth it. Yeah, I just got to achieve it. Mio Sid. Guys, that had to be my quickest... My, the easiest achievement ever. Look, there it is. Mio Sid. And he just gave us all of fucking Castile pretty much. Dude, that is awesome. What? That was actually crazy. I think I should get married right away, honestly, boys. Could get a genius. She's too old. Maybe just alliance power. We are 26. We have to keep that in mind. We could get a Pulia. I think I'm going to wait off on an alliance right now. Let's keep going down Marshall. Strategy focus. Station our men at arms. Wow, it actually gave us a bunch of guys. Nice. It actually decked it out. Caballeros, light footmen. That was awesome. I think I am going to put my skirmishers in my capital, probably. We already got that achievement. We might as well go for the second one. We have to get Valencia, and that's all the way down here. And technically, we don't have to do it as our guy either. It just said as an heir. So I can just take my sweet ass time and do whatever. Let's increase my uh, crown authority. There we go. Dude, I honestly might want to overthrow my king. He's pretty strong. Yeah, I came in cap. He's pretty strong. It actually got rid of my unique unit. So that's a little stupid. I don't know where they went, but it's cool. I think I am going to also invite some knights. Abdullah. He's a good ass guy. Can I arrange his marriage to my mom or something? Because he is great. Uh, he will not accept that. All right, let's just recruit him then. I think I'm honestly going to have to go for Soria. Yeah, I'm going to start getting a claim right on these guys. I really, I think I honestly have to become the king of Castile first before Valencia just to gain a power base. I might go for like this this whole side right here honestly other news we did get some great knights to that event so we are good on knights now no need to get more i'm gonna just keep upgrading my boys maybe build some buildings i don't remember this special building guys if this is new let me know the alcazar of sergovia i do not remember this at all and i played here a lot but i'm definitely gonna have to build this we don't have hoardings yet okay but once i get hoardings i'll definitely do it we do have deer in our land that might be worth getting just to get our prestige up honestly where is that deer yeah row sightings all down here best place in here so let's go for that right away we could turn up to make our chances better. Yeah, let's do more prestige. Let's go for slay beast and tent, of course. Let's start it up. We are here. Let's see if we actually kill him. Yeah, fuck doing stealth. Real hunters corner their prey. Ah, oh, wow. We actually lost. At least we get a legendary siding. Why not? Yeah, we didn't kill it, but that's okay. There we go. We actually got our claim very quick. That was surprising. And this guy does have one alliance up here at Vizcaya. Let's see if we can get a better alliance, huh? We can still get the Duchy of Apula. Attacking the Byzantine Empire? Are you serious? All right, I cannot marry them then. I really don't want someone far away either. Hold on. I'm gonna wait to see if a grand marriage will give me a better chance of marrying someone else because this is pretty bad. Oh, wow. And of course, my king has got the land now. The guy must have died without an heir. Of course. I shouldn't have attacked when I had the chance. Maybe this guy then because I pretty much have that whole duchy too. Yeah, I got to go for this guy now. That was a waste of a claim. Yeah, grand marriage does not switch anything up. That's so dumb. Actually, we can get the kingdom of fucking England. I think that's worth it, boys. Yeah, to get the kingdom of England. We're gonna have a legendary bloodline in a second. Let's get Bellum Justum as our next perk. I think I can just keep upgrading my men, honestly. I'm gonna wait until my men are maxed out before I start doing infrastructure. Wow, that other claim finished very quick, too. It's just in our land. I've never seen claims finish this quick. It's anyway, we completely outnumber this guy. Yeah, he is nothing. We don't have to call on our allies. Just go for it. No, you guys might be saying I'm conquering the wrong way. I should be going down here. We just need to get our strength first. Oh, we instantly won the war. Amazing. It's just ended. Our liege went to war. They're doing a border raid. Okay, not so bad. Let's start increasing control in our new county. Very good. Dude, honestly, Castile's at war 
and for some reason, because of the storyline, I actually want to play like a good vassal. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm acting like this. There we go. We just stack wiped him. It also gave us a little bit of prestige, probably. Okay, 82, not so bad. Here we go. Light footmen maxed out. I think I might save up to become a duke. Make Canabria. I could claim this guy's title over here, too. If you guys remember, this guy is of my family, but I'm not going to do it. I honestly want my family to kind of stay strong. After all, these guys are about to lose everything. Our liege won. Now he's getting attacked by Aragon, though. Next martial trait. Let's get organized march. Our liege is going to war again. Our liege is going crazy. Yeah, he cannot win that. I don't know, not know why he went to war with these guys. My heir is unmarried. I should definitely get him a marriage. I think I'm going to go for uh, skills on this guy. Go for her right here, Lan, or whatever. Honestly, if King Sancho were to die, which we have a great chance of killing him, that would be awesome. A little kid would be in charge. That would be pretty fucking good, man. This is like I said before. I find it kind of dumb. I can just offer a hook and these guys will accept. For example, a hook and maybe some prestige. Yeah, look, and he'll just accept right away. A little weird. Yeah, this guy is for sure dead. I think we're about to get a free martial trait right here through this event. There we go. We did. Let's get engineered for destruction. Pope Alexander will actually give me a claim on the Kingdom of Leon. I'm going to get it just to fuck around, just to have options. But my God, that is actually crazy. After I get Castile, I could definitely push right now with my allies. I definitely need more prestige, though, if I'm going to claim Castile. So that's the thing. I might as well just go for Leon then. I go for Leon, Holland, England. Hopefully they're not at war. I didn't even really check. All right, King William. Yeah, they're not at war. I'm going to go negative in their prestige, but that's okay. We also just had a rebellion in our land of course as soon as i go to war we gotta wait for king william honestly man we can't really do anything without his help let's retreat back this way and we beat this little rebellion war let's just end it i guess we can recruit him he's just not so bad all right here's their army we really gotta wait for our boys man dude they're coming quick too there we go normandy or i should say england let's just crash right into their army no big deal at all we might beat them on our own wow we actually stack wiped them on our own even just arrested our uh family member up here we're gonna let him go i'm not gonna kill him here you go count rodrigo i guess uh we go kill this army right here then we're definitely gonna stack wipe these guys because i don't even need the king of england i was overkill i did not need to call them in we got a dynasty legacy trade rightful rulers might be nice but i think we're just gonna stick with warfare it really fits uh our boy el sid we got our martial trait let's just get let's get strict organization oh there we go yeah go attack their army very good oh they didn't all right anyway we, we won the war so that's good i do want to hit their army one more time before i end the war just for some prestige make them a little weaker here we go but we hit some other random army actually okay it doesn't matter we're not gonna be able to get them let's just end the war we are kings now let them see their new king hopefully i can still get the other achievement once i get valencia i hope that didn't mess it up expand our army yeah i knew we wouldn't get the land yeah this guy's gonna be really annoying and if he oh wow i gotta make sure that that kid doesn't die either they're all connected through family totally forgot about that i can actually usurp the kingdom of castile now yeah this is this is honestly a really crazy start guys i'm not even gonna mess around and my family member's about to get taken out by this guy let's try to make him stop honestly he actually stopped holy shit all right man glacia is getting fucked up too by the other guy what's his name he's the guy who actually forms portugal this guy Duke Nuno, yeah. Yeah, I might just go for the fucking create Spain, man. I know we were going for the achievement. That's the whole point, but we really could. The usurp, I need 500 gold, so I think I am just gonna wait for 500 gold. I'll skip all past it, man. And we honestly don't need to kill this guy anymore. Let's just abandon it. We're a king now, so we can actually have two more fucking men at arms. Once again, I'm gonna wait until I usurp Castile. Oh my god, we can actually start a legend about us. The Song of El Cid. Oh wow, and it says because we became a king of our own. That is super, super cool. I'm gonna check if the achievement's still available. Of course, we gotta see. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, I forgot about the grand fucking wedding, boys. Wow, she's already in an activity, so I can't even do it. Okay, so I gotta wait now. All right, she's out of that activity. There we go. Like I said, I'm gonna turn everything down. I need the money. I'm just trying to create that title, man. I'm gonna seduce her as well, because I honestly do need a, a kid. I just have to put everything back up the, the mid-level, because it said our opinions will actually start to get hurt with people. So yeah, a lot of wasted money there, boys, but don't worry. We're still gonna usurp Castile, get all their land. Next, martial trait. Let's get Parthian tactics. Here comes the grand wedding. I can't wait. We're getting married. But who the fuck is this trying to tell us what to do? Yeah, I don't see you paying anything, so shut up. All right, let's do consensus is perfect for me. 80% chance for us to get confident groom. We got it. There we go. I could say I don't. That'd be so funny. Let's do I do. There we go. We got married. Hell yeah. Hey, she became my lover just through a talk. I'm gonna get the trait confider. I don't want to become my rival, but getting the trait confider would be nice. Let's do it. Yeah, she didn't become my rival. We're good. I actually just got a diplomacy lifestyle point through a decision. That's cool. Let's do benevolent intent. Helps with swing. Yeah, let's have the 
room to ourselves. I always thought that was pretty weird that uh, the people would watch you as you and your new wife bang. Yeah, I don't care. Let's have the room to ourselves. I just got a lock of her hair. That's pretty cool, I guess. Let's start swaying people in our land because people are a little bit mad. Like this guy. Let's start swaying him. He doesn't like us at all. Oh, I just got money for it too. Hell yeah. So that was actually kind of worth it. I used to shit on grand weddings. They're kind of worth it. And she's pregnant already. God damn. Well, I could lay with Mafalda. How sweet, but no. I just got married. This guy wants a favor. God, I'm not paying you shit. What the fuck? There we go. We got a new heir, Rodrigo. Feel bad for my nephew. I'll definitely give him some land though. Yeah, right here. I definitely got to give this guy some land, even though he's not having any kids yet. Oh, I can create another accolade. I'm going to wait on that for now. We just had another little rebellion war. Let me just wipe him out. We really are just saving up money right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it as El Cid. I mean, we're 36. We could probably get it done. What am I talking about? One army stack. What? Time for these guys now. There we go. They're dead. And the war. I can make this guy my executioner. There we go. Next martial trait. Time to get envelopment. If one of you guys want to call me stupid, do it. But where is the Iberian struggle button? I cannot find it. Is it just not for us? Yeah, I click on these guys and it's right there. I wonder if it says I'm not involved. No, you are involved. Okay. Just making sure. It wasn't making sense to me for a second. Maybe I'm just being blind. I do not see it. Anyway, boys, we just got 500 gold. Sorry, Castile. You are getting usurped, my friend. It's literally just him. He was his whole kingdom anyway. That's funny. I could seize the Jor land. We are stronger than him plus his allies. So might as well. There we go. Here's his boys. Let's hit right into him. That was a... That was a pretty hard fight, honestly. He did pretty damn well. Let's try to hit this army. That was their Merc army they just hired. I love how we are leading our own armies, too. We have 41 commander advantage. Holy shit. All right, we actually caught this army. That has to be a stack wipe. There we go. It was. Let our boys heal, then let's siege. Totally just wiped them out there. Yeah, they only have a 1,000 men now. Like, I did like the storyline, guys, but I feel like there should have been a little bit more. It felt like almost, hear me out here, that it went a little too quick. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but that storyline went very quick. Super cool, but very quick. Time to siege their capital should give us the Dub. I assume, yeah, they're gonna try to siege some of our land. Literally, it does not matter. We got more money. I might as well max out my uh, Caballeros. I just got another son. Oh, wow. He's a dwarf. I guess I'll educate him. We're about to siege the capital. There we go. The war is over. Oh, my best friend died. You mean the best friend who left me? I honestly don't give a fuck about him. He left me. Fuck them. I understand it was an event, a storyline or whatever, because I couldn't pay them. I had to pay the king or some dumb shit. Still, fuck them. Anyway, I sold back his son just to make some extra money. I'd rather just get money right now. I know I could win this war easy. There we go. We stack white them. Let's hit this army now. Here we go. Right into that army. This should be perfect. They're raising up another army in the hills. Fuck that. For the mountains, I should say. Yeah, I knew they were gonna go right for the siege again. I gotta wipe their army. Honestly, I probably just should have took the dub when I had the chance. All right, we actually caught him right here though. That's perfect. Very good. We stack white them. We can easily siege now. Let's just go for it. Besides, look, we're making so much money from this war from the ransom so it's just totally worth going for it start upgrading our main buildings uh build a hospice over here upgrade the magonels twice honestly there we go next martial trade let's get hit and run hey these guys are going too quick i'm gonna have to take some guys off and threaten them with an attack and that sucks these guys down here are attacking into them it's not valencia though yeah i think i'm just gonna get uh for this video leon castile navarre aragon valencia I have a nice little clear cut line there we go we killed that army let's send our guys back now very good we did great we still haven't won the war i understand this wasn't one of their main duchies but come on give me the dub let's go up here and siege this place then all right we are about to win very good i don't think they're gonna siege that quicker than us there we go we just won the war we own all of castile now and we got the land for ourselves we could give away one but honestly we're holding two duchies i think i'm gonna stay with that let's turn to manage domain uh i am definitely gonna stick with the two duchy hold though now, i might make burgos to capital i might have to get some archers here yeah get some archers now bowmen let's never forget about them put them in this place right here next people to attack yeah we can't go for Vizcaya. king sancho's still alive we could go right for navara nah that's not a good one i think it's time to go right for these guys we are touching we can do holy war du that's not a good holy war duchy man might as well just do holy war county i think i'm gonna build up some more men at arms third son no good three sons is no good i'm gonna build up my men at arms though until they're all maxed out then go for these guys over here we're gonna finish up this video very soon. Hey, Africa, what are you doing in Spain, brother? And Sardinia. You guys are popping the fuck off. There we go. He had the Conqueror. You guys, is this isn't a game already. The fucker has the Conqueror trait. Was he a wanderer? So I'm to let me know now as this guy starts off with it. I think too many people start off with that shit now, man. This guy was a populist leader over here. That means they broke free. I don't understand why it doesn't say I have a cast as belly on this guy, but for this guy, I do. It's Holy War. It seems very dumb. 140 gold through an event. Perfect. Let's upgrade our Maganels. One more men at arms. We could go for Armored Horsemen. Not really feeling it. 
let's do armored footmen. And I can start building them up somewhere nice. Yeah, because there's no really places to help heavy uh, infantry out in my land. Yeah, none at all. Yep, we're almost done fully maxing out our men at arms, though, boys. So once that's done, the, the fucking conquering is going to start. Like, we're already up to 3,500 men. I just realized that. That's martial trade I'm getting is living off the land. Then we can go right for strategist. And I'm switching to learning line style, boys. I do want to do this all as El Cid. That'd be pretty awesome. Also, I'm going to switch off Leon. Become Castile, man. Just as honor to our friend, or old friend, I should say. There we go. We're Castile now. Very good. Make this guy Garcia my new accolade. This guy is strong as fuck. I hope he dies, man. I'm about to call England in for that one. Well, actually, I got a daughter. I could just marry her off. Of the Holy Roman Empire, I think that's a very good alliance that we're going to do. Now we have England and the Holy Roman Empire. Wow, we are at a great political stance right now. The Reconquista is on. We have Boars. That's interesting. Not gonna do them. So my alliance expired with England already, and this guy will not give me a new one. I have low legitimacy, that's why. I need to increase my legitimacy. I need to start making titles, man, because uh, that low legitimacy is kind of ass. And there's a disease in our land. Robert's boils. All right, my wife keeps getting pregnant, guys. That is ridiculous. She's only 24. She's about to have five fucking kids. I think I'm gonna start getting claims on Navarra, though. Why not? Oh, my wife uh, had a miscarriage. Yeah, we gotta go for this county war, man. I gotta start calling in my allies. It's the only way I could push through. These guys, I can't declare war on. It makes no sense, honestly. Ask Head of Faith for gold. Very good. Call on our Holy Roman Emperor. I know he's at war, but you gotta help us out here, man. And if anything, I'll marry off another son for an alliance because we really do need it. Yeah, I'll get angrier with my dwarf son. Oh, that's not my dwarf son. Yeah, I want to marry off my dwarf son because I definitely don't want to be him. Yeah, let's get angrier. I'm gonna get some more armored footmen too with the money I got from the Pope. There we go. They call on another ally. Very good. Saying I could have went to war with Galatia. I don't know why though. Oh, for the whole fucking kingdom? Yeah, how about no? I don't want to put some random guy in control. All right, I'm gonna build another hospice down here once I have money. We're gonna wait for them to attack into us because we are kind of outnumbered by a lot right now. There is no holy orders yet in the game. Seriously. I like how there's special mercenary mercenaries now. I don't know who the fuck that is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. They have 5,000 for... Oh, wow. Yeah, we really need our allies. Where are they? Here comes Angria. We need them to come. England, you're really breaking my heart. Yeah, we have too many alliances now. I just got to trait Rakish. It's not so bad, honestly. Come on, Angria. With you, we could win this. Come on. Before they can siege that place, because... All right, they're definitely going to siege that place. That's okay. This guy wants to purchase a truce with me. No. I'm going to go for you guys next. They are going to crash right into me. Next martial trait. Let's get sappers. All right, they're going up here. Yeah, they're going right onto our castle. We're easily going to stack wipe these guys. If Angria comes, we'll be fine. There we go. There we go. Stack wipe both those armies. That's kind of hard to believe, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to try to siege back my place real quick. There we go. Now, let's hit them over here. That's easily going to be a stack wipe. Yeah, I don't know why they try to siege. And just like that, boys, just waiting. We easily... They have no men. 1,900, yeah. Now, I just gotta hope this guy dies, though, very quickly. Oh, he is getting hurt. All right, I need to end the war right now. If he dies while I'm in the middle of this war, that's gonna suck. I kind of want the truce to be right over. Do a holy war, duchy. There we go. We just won the war just like that. And let's end it. What I'm going to do now is give that land to my nephew, like I said before. I know he has no kids, so it's probably just gonna go right back to me. But who cares, man? So he stuck with me for a long time, so there you go, Pedro. There's some land. Let's start making duchies now. Give us a little bit of prestige, also legitimacy. Let's make Astoria and give it to my family member up there of course here you go buddy there we go we finally got our claim on navara all right let's go right for this place i don't think we need our allies helps at all this time another daughter we can get duchy of leon yeah let's marry leon so they never uh rebel against us they were very strong anyway look at that 2.6k they're actually allied to navara that's funny there we go we're about to see john that place very quickly let's go hit their army my son is sick with pneumonia let's hope he lives that's a stack wipe of the army right there and it won us the war can i make the duchy of Navarra. Yeah, and then I can get the claim. Go right for this guy. All right, cool. Next martial trait. There it is. Strategist. Let's switch to the learning lifestyle now. Our son lived very good. I guess I'll have my uh, wife educate my daughters. We're actually making 10 gold a month. We really popped off. Yeah, I really do like playing in Iberia. I've got to trait athletic. I'm getting overstressed. Let's work off some stress now. Let's talk to a confidant. I could visit a brothel. There we go. Cost a lot of money, but we're not stressed no more. Oh, Aragon, I actually lost to the old king of Castile. I think I am going to get a claim on these guys over here, too. Might as well. We'll be the triple king after. Navarra, Castile, Leon. Another son, boys. This is not good, man. Next, Dynasty Legacy trade. Generational belligerence. Let's just keep pushing for it, man. We're warriors. Wow, Leon is really going for the kill against these guys. Leon, I'm going to have to tell you to stop right now, honestly. And don't piss me off. He defied me. It is just a border raid, so. Yeah, our land is completely under control other than our nephews, but honestly. Oh, holy shit. He actually had a kid. He's about to have another. Very good, man. The bloodline strike. Ask our head of faith for gold. Let's do it. 450. Let's make those duchies now. Navarra. There we go. 
Deku. Give it to our nephew. Now we can attack into Aragon. Yep, just like that. Only 925 men. Get the fuck out of here. This should just give me the land. You're really gonna waste my time, me walking up there. Here's your little pathetic army. Let me go kill it. Oh, and I had a rebellion. Okay. All right, about to hit the army here. Stack wipe. Let's head up here. Kill them now. If you guys want, I'll play another video. I mean, I'll do another video and play as a landless guy because you guys really didn't get to see off much as me as a landless character. I only did like two or three missions before the shit came up. So there we go. We killed them. And the war against the peasants. Let's recruit an executioner now because I did realize that if you do it another way, it doesn't work. The other way, I mean, if you click from uh, like if you go to your prisoners, you know, and you go like some shit like this, this doesn't work anymore. Yeah. So don't do that. We got our claim. Let's go. We can go up here now. I should just get another claim for this guy right here. Let's keep upgrading our land. More hospices, obviously. We could just start upgrading our men. Yeah, let's do a barracks up here just so we don't start to fuck up. Stack wipe that army. They ran right into us. They didn't give us the dub. Really weird. We stack wiped all their armies, sieged the war goal. All right, let's just uh, siege their capital now. I don't mind. We get tons of money from it, like I said. Let's upgrade the militia camps over here into high tents. Helps our archers. All right, they're sieging back their place kind of quick. Let me detach some besiegers. Run over here. There we go. Stack wipe. And I actually gave us the dub, but I'm just going to let that siege pop off so I can get tons of money. I mean, look at all the people we get to sell back, man. There we go. And we just took that land. Now I think it's time to end the war. I think we just completely drained him of money. Yeah, he only has three gold now. Let's end the war. Thanks for Navarre, bub. Our nephew now has all the land. He loves us. Next learning. First learning trade, I should say. Anatomical studies. Hey, we can usurp the kingdom of Navarre. I think it'd be cheaper just to get a claim. But we have low control over in these places. I don't mean a while. Let's start increasing it. All right, let's go to war with this guy now, honestly. Now you guys are probably screaming at me to go to war with this guy. Truce, guys. Chill out. There's still a truce. This guy, for some reason, can. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's a little annoying, honestly, why I can't go to war with these guys. These guys next. Very easy campaign. I definitely recommend you guys playing this. this is, it's actually a lot of fun playing as El Cid. And he's a great ruler. Just from that trait there, Pompadour. Very good. We stack wipe their men. Very easy. Ran some prisoners. Yeah. 245 gold. Let's just keep making uh, more hospices, man. And we won the war already. Let's just end it. I don't even want to hold on to Vizcaya. Do I have anyone in my family who wants that shit? I could give him this land, but he has no kids yet. This guy has kids. Yeah, let's give it to him. You are of our family, but you're also married to another family member. That's a little weird, but we'll let it slide. RP King Sancho, he's probably just a wanderer now. And we are pretty much truce blocked everywhere now. So we're just gonna be playing tall again. There we go. We got our next claim. And yeah, we still have a truce with this guy too. Wow, pretty crazy. All right, we just funded an inspiration because it would make our wife happy. Oh, it's actually, I just funded it for my sister-in-law. Okay. I'm debating whether I should start promoting that legend. We're not making like tons of money, but like it's kind of something to do. It's pretty cool. How much does it cost to fund it? I'll put a court chronicler in. There we go. 380 gold. That's pretty fucked, but we'll do it, I guess. Phase transition to conciliation. That's no good. Finally, we can go to war with this guy. We can go right for the whole kingdom, which might honestly be fucking worth. How big's that duchy? He pretty much, that's all he has anyway. And that's not in Valencia, so I really don't give a fuck. We could just do duchy. We could do kingdom on this guy. Yeah, because he owns two different duchies. And then we can go to war with this guy separate and then right into this guy of Africa. Yeah, perfect plan. Perfect plan. All right, so duchy first. Call in the allies. I don't think I need the Holy Romans, but let's call him because better safe than sorry. That's what I always say. Honestly, let's just go fuck these guys up. Reconquista style. Oh, they're in another war too. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're actually really set. I kind of wish I never did his grand marriage though. The England war only helped us out one time and he does not fuck with me no more. We're getting away pretty easy sieging this land. Okay, here comes the enemy. I'm gonna do a little retreat real quick. Yeah, just until my allies come. They're literally right here. So we just gotta wait for them. But they really wanna chase me down. Oh, my daughter's no longer married to uh, the Holy Romans. All right, so I can remarry her. That kind of sucks though. They're a great alliance. They're gonna stay in the war, but still. All right, let's just start sieging our land. The Holy Romans are here. There's nothing to fear, like I said. Celia's tapestry. That's pretty cool, I guess. Whatever. Wow, these guys are getting demolished. Their army just got stack wiped. They're not even a problem for us. We do have to be careful of these fucks though. Hopefully once I siege on the capital, will give us the dub. I doubt it. Yeah, let's hit their army then. Fuck it. Come on team, follow me. Ask Head of Faith for gold, 100%. I could usurp the King of Navarra. Requires 500, so I'm not gonna do it. There we go. We hit their army. We fucked them up pretty bad. Very good. We just really got to keep sieging now. There's another little army over here. Let's go get them. 289. They're dead. Stack wipe. Yeah, we got to keep sieging places over here. This is the actual guy. Oh, wow. They're actually going to crash into me right up here. I did not expect that. We should win. Our other army is distracted right now. Yeah, they were destroyed and they were destroyed. Nice. And we won the war just like that. Very good. Let's just end it. We got the whole fucking duchy now. Let's ransom this guy back, wherever the hell he's from. Like I said, I'm going to go for Aragon and Navarra. And eventually, I'll probably get these guys too. But yeah, they're in a war right now. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if France picks them up. I don't feel like going to war with France, boys. Yeah, like they're already at war with them anyway. They could keep Barcelona, man. Tough decision here. But I could skip over this guy. I think I'm gonna have to do the Holy
Holy War for Africa, the Kingdom War, because they have, they're in two different duchies compared to this guy who's just in here. We technically do not need that land. Instead, we need Valencia. All right, let's give this land away. I think I'm going to give it to a son this time. I don't know if I should give it to a son, though. It wouldn't be the worst thing to give it to a son. Let's hope he doesn't die from disease. Is he out of the succession now? He yeah, he should probably still get land. Yeah. Not until I become an empire. I'm 50, so I don't see myself becoming an empire. I'm going to visit the brothel real quick. There we go. I need to lose some stress. Now, as it's saying, I could do my legend, but we're honestly losing a bunch of gold now. Not sure why. Yeah, we just started losing a bunch of gold for some reason. Who really cares? Yeah, let's just go for Navarra for my claim. Easy war. Just wrap it up there so we don't never have to go north again. There we go. Run right into him. Then Aragon, our truce is still there. These guys, you're next. I hope you know you're next. Easy stack wipe. Just left for the siege now. And the war is over. Look at that. Thank you, bub. And the war. Oh, look. He's becoming an adventurer. Dude, you're going to die soon. All right, let's give this land away now to our other family member. Very good. Good. Right now, our family owns a bunch right now between all three of the family houses then we still have a gemina too which is pretty cool next learning lifestyle let's get wash your hands we don't have a cat look this guy will not give me a cast's belly on him or him anyone anymore i should have used my cast's belly i think it's because the conciliation conciliation phase maybe i guess we might as well just start trying to get a claim get a claim on these guys they literally only have one place let's go for them right away yeah i, I cannot start doing that uh legend yet i'll actually go straight into death right, i need a new personal physician for guillermo he's obviously better rodrigo comes of age very good he's actually pretty shit if we're being honest another son guillermo all right that's kind of weird two guillermos so we have rodrigo diego Velasco. Now Guillermo. We have five fucking sons. Our kingdom is splitting apart, baby. Yeah, since I don't have enough money to really do that legend, I might as well go for upgrade buildings. Let's go to Fort of Forestry over here. Let's build another hospice way down here. There we go. There we go. And I'll build another hospice in all my places. You know how I spam out hospices, boys. I also gotta build this special building. If I get the tech, I will do it. Crusades have been unlocked. Nice, nice. Bro, what the fuck? Accused of decadence? I never... That must be a new one. Never seen that before. But he's still a conqueror. He is gonna gonna die soon though very good very good please die i don't want to face a conqueror we got our claim let's go for it i know it puts us in a debt not a big deal i just got to trait wise man here we go i don't know why i always make my characters the most broken guys ever man Oh, he's also a brilliant strategist. Didn't realize that. All right, I'm going to convert this land over here. It's mine. I got to convert it. I think I'm going to start uh, increasing development in my capital. That's not my capital, but I do want it to become my capital. So no big deal. I could just switch it to my capital now, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Oh, this guy sent me a gift. Thank you, bub. I can actually hold seven out of seven domains too. I don't know what happened to change it, but all right. And we could go right for these guys. Super strong. So that's definitely not going to happen. He is going to die soon. This guy's a conqueror true too. Are you kidding me? You're gonna tell me that all these guys somehow fucking got to trait if we controlled galacia we could go for the whole fucking thing dude all right time to start getting a claim on this guy though now i know i was trying to convert this county but i'd rather get the gold done than convert counties i definitely gotta get another alliance i already oh i don't have the holy romans right yeah yeah now we outnumber them but now it's definitely worth time to go for it calling all our allies i don't mess around I'm kind of feeling unstoppable at this point i talk big shit when i'm allied to the holy romans i'm not gonna lie also i could probably hire a holy order yeah so we're good man all right there's 4.4k of them they're in another war though here's our allies the holy romans kind of nervous they're gonna get stack wiped the way they're running in like that i'm gonna go back them up real quick they landed closer to us now very good every time i start a war it's a fucking peasants fucking rebellion dude every fucking time right, let's run right for their army hopefully by the time we get there our allies disembarkment penalty will be gone not yet i mean we're beating them on our own come on guys do i even need the holy romans one thing they should add from eu4 to this game though is the telling your allies what you want them to siege or to attack an army that would be very much worth it. I don't know why they're not adding that into the game. They could make combat a little bit better in this game. Or like sieging and shit. I like how there's their assault fort button, but like, come on. It's nice that they're actually going though. It's like the fucking game heard me. Yeah, go siege something down, dude. There goes that rebellion worm. Let's end it now. He's pretty good. 20 prowess. Let's hire him. Okay, they attacked right into the Holy Romans. Dumb as shit, honestly. We're about to attack into him down here. Alright, I just became friends with this guy accidentally. Not too bad. Yeah, he's not the main leader, so it's all good. And anyway, we hit that army, so they're stack wiped this army. Holy Romans are actually standing their ground i'm gonna hit this army now too very good stack wipe that army let's just siege a place down they probably have no one left now 2.3k yeah that was a very easy war i knew i shouldn't have called in my allies man that was a waste i'm gonna have to do something for prestige now 100 probably just make a title yeah i can still build tons of titles that's probably what i'm gonna do next
next learning lifestyle iron constitution 100% gonna help us yeah buddies you can see down there that literally means nothing to me that piece of land i'm getting raided in my land where's this guy even from all the way down here are you kidding me you guys made the journey all the way up here okay whatever all right we siege the land very good let's go hit their armies now these little shitheads all right we stack wipe that army go down here now right, we siege back our next piece of land very good you gotta keep hitting their armies though because they're gonna try to want to unsiege us we just hit that army right there stack wipe head of faith for gold very good we hit that army now as well it's definitely gonna be a stack wipe probably yeah and it gave us the dub look at that look at that let's end the war for our one county it was a big war for one county but hey i guess i'll give this next piece of land to another son marry him off first of course duchy of Lombardy or scotland yeah scotland's a good one increases taxes now very good i start making some duchies let's make viscaya go that's pretty much all we needed to do son and heir can marry county of messina i'm not sure if i'm feeling alliance power or just pure traits on my son right now everyone's old for the good traits the you could get her you only get the beautiful trait i look for genius traits man i don't care if you're good looking i want you to be smart nona could be good yes yeah, do nona yeah, all my place is pretty upset at me they did get raided no yeah it's gonna take forever for us man to get a claim down here so what i'm gonna do is uh holy shit there we go we actually do holy war on that guy i was about to say i'm gonna skip a little bit i need some more piety so we're definitely going on a pilgrimage just right to santiago let's not fuck around man zealotry start it up i know i'm rushing this down guys but if you want to see me uh keep going i can definitely keep going like for a part two i don't know if you want me to unite all of spain and then northern africa i mean look at these guys holy shit they're showing me up in my own game holy shit the holy romans have actually conquered like all of italy at this point king heinrich i'm gonna give it to you you're doing some pretty dope shit not attacking a pope so that's cool okay boys i've made it to the holy land santiago got to trade pilgrim just another trade for our boy you know we're just gonna keep building him up my son learned italian vulgar nice all right we have enough uh, faith now to actually do the holy war for kingdom i was kind of hoping to become a paragon of virtue but didn't work out i have returned home all right then right in for it all right all right hold on i think i'm gonna let africa win first because then i can get all valencia in one go very smart by me let's just stop getting the claim on those guys now let's go right for uh, aragon like i said i do like nice borders so this guy has to conquer a trade yeah he's gonna keep going let's hope he doesn't die yeah i'm still not gonna fuck around guys i'm still calling all my allies to this africa war man we are 56 man so we're probably gonna be able to do it it's just that i do wish i did the legend makes me sad if anything i'll do it as his heir in the next part two of course next learning lifestyle restraint i really want know thyself on africa win this war here we go build that hospice now down here i'm pretty sure like all our lands are have every building yeah pretty good there we go they won there we go i mean this africa is actually going crazy guys funny thumbnail if i were to do it now but yeah let's go right for the war now holy war for kingdom valencia let's call in all our allies i don't care if our prestige goes into nowhere we're pretty much ending the campaign pain once i get this achievement all in one life you guys have to let me know if that other guy that i brought up in the beginning did all in one life i'm not sure i'll probably watch your video i think it's one proud bavarian that's the guy's name who uh did this video all right i'm gonna leave my men raised up i am not attacking this guy without my friends he already got up to eight thousand men so yeah come on holy romans get fucking down here oh there they all are can i win that it's actually saying i can win that they just disembarked oh my god guys i'm gonna leave that all in how fast i just beat them i did not expect that i think it's gonna be a stack wipe nah it's not a stack wipe you could tell when it's gonna be a stack wipe guys because the game acts a certain way but 2.6k of them killed come on holy romans there's nothing to fear man i just kicked their fucking ass and scotland just got here it's gg boys reconquista in full effect right here nope i don't want this claim remember i want a duchy claim i just make this duchy i could just conquer the whole thing yeah i could probably just make this duchy dude actually i can't yet first place see just wait until i get some more men back through healing then i'll attack right into this army in the mountains you guys help me out right yeah come help me out boys i really need your help for this one my wife just got leprosy i didn't think you could catch leprosy in the game look at that and she is fucking ugly put a mask on dude holy shit at least be like king baldwin this could be a stack wipe now i do believe yeah these are stack wipes all the way through i mean not this one that first battle definitely was a stack wipe 1900 extra 1400 very good yeah we won this i'm gonna ask my head of faith for some gold now the guy of africa hopefully he dies just right after this war so i can go right for this one place all right here's their armies once again if they were smart dude they would attack into the weakest army which is honestly fucked for them because we are stacked up man dude i've got to trade cancer are you kidding me all right another siege done let's hit their army all right we beat their army back again we just got to keep sieging man that's how it's gotta go i think i am going to die know thyself now tell me that i'm gonna die within the year yeah this does suck now guys because all my land's about to break up too unless i start no i can't even start disinheriting 
kidding. I have no prestige. Yep, I will be dead within a year. It just popped up. Another land siege, 74%. Let's go hit this army now. I gotta siege one more place. I'm gonna try to rush down to fort just real quick, man. I know I'll still win the war if my guy dies. I just wanna do it as El Cid, man. Come on. One life. One life. Come on. Don't fucking kill me yet, game. Don't fucking do it. No! I'm literally a click away. Oh my god. If I die right here. If I fucking die. Holy shit, boys. I am so fucking lucky. <laughs> All right, there we go, boys. Let's end the war. Very good. Where's my second achievement? I don't want to unpause because I'm so scared I'll die. All right, do I have to make the kingdom? Is that the whole thing? All right, now I got to save for money. Okay, all right, let's give this whole son Valencia then. Oh, I think I missed gave one. Nope, that's all good. He has all of Valencia now. Very good. Like I said, I'm just gonna give all my sons to land. I know that might make the succession harder or whatever, whatever, whatever. It really doesn't matter to me, boys. No one better say I'm not a good father. I gave all my sons land or just a great family member. All my sons land. I gave everyone fucking land honestly wow this kid would not accept an alliance with me are you serious let's see if we can get some money real quick oh i could destroy a court artifact yeah i could just destroy a court artifact if i actually wanted to get the money all right let's just destroy a court artifact i know i love keeping court, uh, court artifact guys but at this point let's fuck around and just destroy a gemina one i don't really care all right now let's see if i make this now kingdom of valencia will it give us the achievement yep legacy of the campadors there we go boys another achievement but yeah boys i am gonna end up there that was a very fun and quick campaign i definitely recommend you play this and try to go for the one life get both achievements but yeah boys that'll be everything i hope you enjoyed watching if you want to see a part two let me know and i'll catch you in the next one i'll see you